Mickey, uh, last year, your teammate Denny McLean with those 31 victories, do you think this can be repeated again uh, in the near future? Well, to be frankly honest, Keith, I think that uh, 31 games is a, is a fluke. I'm not saying that Denny didn't have the ability, but uh, it's just one of these things that happened, like the year Roger Maris broke Babe Ruth's record with 61 home runs. I think that this is the way sports are. Every once in a while, somebody comes up and has one of these great, fantastic years. Now, I'm saying that Denny McLean is a 20-game winner. I say he'll win 20, 25, but I think 31 was a, a number that he attained last year, and it, was, it took a little bit of luck to do it, plus some great pitching, but to repeat it, uh, like this year and the next couple of years, uh, I'll be completely amazed if he does do it. Mickey, uh, the Tigers have gone with a set club. Uh, there's been no trades in the offseason. The St. Louis Cardinals made some real key trades. Uh, do you think this is good or bad? Well, it's uh, really hard to say which way it's going to go, but the Tigers are a young ball club, and this is primarily what we're going with. We're going with our youth. Anytime you try to make a trade and you happen to be a world's champion or something, you usually have to trade uh, one of your uh, one of your battleships to get a rowboat. That's about how they want to do it. And right now, what we needed, we needed a shortstop because we lost Ray Euler in a trade, and plus Ray had a little trouble hitting last year. But if we wanted to pick up a shortstop, we'd have probably had to give up something like Willie Horton or an Al Kaline to get one. And it's real hard to make deals when you're a first-place club.